Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, I've uh, come back with, from the uh, warehouse and uh, been cleaning up my transformers and modding them a little bit by sticking some awesome stickers on them. Has to be done. And I thought I'd show you the video of um, share the video with you guys of the uh, ones I brought back and I'll even power that one up for you. And on the top of there, we've got a nice 10 inch gap. Oof, awesome. These actual transformers, okay, the difference between these ones and my awesome one which I modded and took out the capacitors, as you can see the transformer down there. Now this one has been modded and this one does actually run my coil, my Tesla coil. And it'll even run that when it's ready. <coughs> and uh, I've not taken these apart, only to jam the uh, the contactor up because each one of these is a solenoid and brings up a plate on the back and energises the anode and cathode. And what I've done with this one, I've pulled it up and put some cable ties around it to pull it tight against the top, the bottom of these federals. So. <clears throat> I'll show you them close up first. This one is a 70 kV, works extremely well, doesn't pull so many amps as that one does. Um, this one, say on 40 volts, pulls about 10 amps, which is not bad actually, as EVS driver will do that. Uh, well, this one, when I energize it, will pull 20 odd amps at 40 volts. Of course, that's 150 kV. And this one's a 70 kV, completely different. That'll, that's um, not as much milliamp out as one of these. Now these are 100 up to 400 milliamps, uh, depending on the actual um, transformer themselves. These are actually not transformers or inverters, inverted transformers, in other words, they work on frequency. For ones that don't know, and uh, this is the first time you've watched my video. Um, you need uh, a frequency up to uh, 20 kilohertz to run these uh, maybe up to you know between 17 and upwards uh, 16 and up to 20 kilohertz to get into the right range of where these things will sit comfortably at uh, depending on what the uh, the output you want on these of course if you get it into the wrong frequency you're going to pull more current and whatever you're running if you're running a variac you could quite easily burn out your windings so it's uh, it's always good to uh, or your MOSFETs uh, should I say your Variac will of course be pulled more current if you what you know with the uh, if you're running it through RGBTs or whatever your RGBTs will get hot and your Variac will pull, be pulling more current and God knows what you know what I mean I'm not going to go into all that crap but uh, yeah let's get some close up on these then and I'll show you this, I will say that this one is getting to be my favourite because it's, it looks really industrial, um, it's extremely solid as a rock. I've not had the top off this one, I've had the top off that one to do the contactors and the top off this one to do the contactors. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, these, this is extremely cool, high frequency get a nice close-up of that label for you there you go there was a circuit board on here this is for the uh, the voltage um, monitoring and and whatnot uh, I'm not sure what this does. I've not uh, had it apart yet, so I, I don't know what this is. It could be anything. It could be a probe, an oil level. It could be could be anything really. Uh, it's the same with this one here, which has got some strange um, connectors on it, spade connectors on the top of this. I'm not quite sure what this is. This could be, you know, the same. This could be. This one could be a temperature, and this one could be a probe for oil level. I'd have to have a look underneath and to see what these are. 
that uh, all it says on the bottom on that label around it I can't even get around there without banging my head it's 115 volts anyway at one amp so could even be a heater for all we know you know just to prime the heat the, the oil up on this thing and uh, make it nice and thin to to do with properties for cooling I'm not quite sure <laughs> <laughs> I know a little bit about these HDs, but uh, these tanks, but uh, I don't know everything. We're always learning every day. Uh, we've seen very much of one of these before, because it's very, very similar to one over there. This is 150 kV as well. This has got the two outputs, of course, with the, the, plates, uh, the plates underneath which pull up either which one you want to do, you can have them both energised if you wish or both of them pulled up at the same time should I say and you know run two different things off it but you only need the one really so that one's not used, I'll cap it off, we've got some plastic caps to go over the federals just there and there's your inputs just there this is another monitoring of uh, the voltage and current and everything else Another uh, circuit under there which goes down inside there. The sort of capacitors that's not in this one but in that one is those brown ones down there. That's the caps that are in that and the transformers are the same as what I've got in my tank over there, the one that I modded with the plastic lid. Very nice. And this one is a very unusual one. Doesn't it look awesome, this one as well? I've, had, I've given them all a bit of a clean. I've got managed to get some federals with some nice wire on this time. As you can see, I've got the one over there. Uh, Alex uh, helped me clean these uh, cables up and he cut them in half for me and helps me uh, get to the same le length. Because uh, Alex does enjoy messing about with these tanks as well. And I've got this one here. Now, this one. I've had this one apart, took the lid off it to look inside of it, because I had to, as Alex was here with me as well, he wanted to look inside of it, was both eager to open it all. Now, the strange thing with this tank was really weird, because there's no transformer in this. There's a board with a load of caps and diodes on it. With this, now, me and Alex was rubbing our heads and thinking to ourselves, what the hell could this thing be used for? Well, it's got HT there and it's got tube there, and I don't know whether or not this is some sort of monitoring equipment or God knows what, because I mean, there, there were some resistors as well, which will probably bring down the current um, and just allow, uh, you know, monitoring of the, the dangerous uh, higher voltages. But I even thought that these were connectors at first when I first come to power this thing up. I thought, are they the connectors? No, of course they're not. They're like the fill and drain or whatever. And I thought, no, can it be that? This is a silly little spade connector here and ground. Nope. How weird is that? I thought, it can't be that BNC. So I tried even on the BNC. I've seen a diode there, so I thought, oh, it could be, probably. Now is it, heck? That'd be ridiculous, really, to think that one diode had something to do with the input, because it did blow it up. So I took the top off, and there's just a board going straight down. With a load of diodes on it and resistors and uh, capacitors any little caps, little round caps so it's a lovely box and I could really mod the box of course this one I've not paid for because I took it because I wanted to have a look at it and I said if I wanted it you know I'll pay you next time I'm there in 5-6 months time but uh, really weird really weird indeed it's the first thing I've come across so I'm going to have to have a word with Chris about that and find out what he is actually used for never seen anything like it so yeah uh, that's a hundred and that's about a hundred kV that one is I didn't tell you that one that's a hundred and fifty kV as well I got some wire while I was there some nice hundred kV wire isn't that awesome eh? got two hundred kV wire now and hundred kV wire well this is seventy five kV actually not a hundred, but it'll take a hundred at low milliamps. Not a problem. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, very handy stuff. Got quite a bit of that. Four nice lengths of it. Eh? But, uh, ooh, don't know what that is. 
Anyway guys, let's uh, do the old Jabba the Hutt and uh, let's show you some arcs. Oh shit, where's my bloody... Uh, don't know where my... Uh, tripod. Should have thought about this, shouldn't have first, before I even started the bloody video. I do believe it's down here somewhere, there it is, look, with some tape on the handle. So just pause the film really, the video for you. As you can say, I have actually had quite a bit of a tidy up. It just had to be done. <clears throat> right, let me pause this video because I need two hands for this. Hold on guys. Right. Bloody bulbs. Oh, flipping lights on lock. Hopefully it won't interfere with it. Without the bloody light on, it's a nice blue background, but, uh, oh well, let's get on with it. Right, as you can see, nice 10 inch gap there, guys. Have to wear me, uh, me ear muffs as a must, because the uh, last thing I want to do is damage me hearing. And this thing is loud, so watch your volumes, guys. Now this will pull easily 20 amps. There we go. And this is only 40 volts, well, between 40 and 45 volts. You can really hear the... Uh, Variac humming with the pull of current, it's just wicked. It's only a 20 amp, 20 amp Variac, you see, and uh, you know, it's 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 pulling its uh, its threshold, put it that way. All right, let me see if I can put the back one out on this and show you the, uh, the current on this thing. Should the battery's going a bit on that? Uh, what's it? Oh, I'll call you stupid phone. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, are you? I'll start it up and I'll see it. I'll show it you and see if you can see it. See if I can zoom in anymore. Excellent. in the way, so you can see that, uh, that's it, right, sorry guys, Did you see that? I hope so. <laughs> I'll have to watch the video back later. But that was 19.89, uh, nearly 20 amps. And that was just at 40 volts. <clears throat> right, let's take the phone out. Sorry guys, I'm making you all dizzy. Now, I'll show you what we've... Uh, Put your phone down. It. Oh, pause it one minute. Right now, I'll show you my hand. It'll be easier just in case if uh, if you didn't see that. Uh, here we go. Look. Jesus, that is loud. And this is running off my, very, uh, my ZVS. <clears throat> Didn't tell you what I was running it on, did I? No IGBTs at this particular time. IRFP 260s. Uh, two in parallel. Four, should I say. Yeah, two 
that's normally your ZVS, just one uh, MOSFET on either side, and there's two, so there's two in parallel. And uh, there's the board, there's your inputs, going through the caps, going through the um, ferrite toroid, and into the transformer. <coughs> Absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Something for you to to watch. Uh, for, you know, I told you I'd uh, show you what I got and brought back. That'd be nice for uh, definitely would be nice for a uh, transformer to go in that. I do like these federal um, female federals, should I say? The way that they're at an angle and there's a plate underneath that holds them and they're at an angle so you would be able to turn those around so you could actually have two insulators at an angle if you wanted to try and uh, fit them in in some, some way I don't know whether or not you could mod um, one of these Federals to uh, have an insulator sticking out of them, I'm not sure but uh, yeah I'll have to get that one going at some point and I'll have to make a video and show you that one going because that is pretty sweet. I'm trying to think whether or not I'd show it you. I might show it you actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and set that one up and show you the output on that. It's like a ZVS flyback, you know, running a flyback. So I'll pause the video and I'll show you that because I've got to show it you guys. And I know some of you have actually said you do enjoy my videos and you like watching them when you don't mind me, you know, rabbiting on. <laughs> right, let me pause the video and I'll set it up for you. Right, all set up. As you can see, it's actually quite quick to set it up. Just to undo those crocodile clips and bring the ZVS over, and just sort the output from the transformer. It's basically just straight to ground on the on the case in this. So here we go. <laughs> This is 25 volts. And it's only drawing 5 amps. Let's try and get this over a little bit. Sorry guys. Drawing 20 amps. Because that was a higher higher import. I do beg your pardon, the last time I tried this I had it on AC. And I've just changed it over to DC and it's given me the correct reading. So yes, that draws 20 amps at 40 volts. So that's about the same. I've pulled all my bloody carpets up and it's all rugged up, you know, because they're dragging these things because they they weigh a flipping ton. They weigh about 60 kilograms. Flipping ridiculous. So 60, 70 kilograms. Let me just turn this around. Let's see if we can get a better image for you. Not even looking what I'm doing with the camera. I'll be careful because I'll burn the windings on me variac, you know, from zero up to 40. Those windings there that I'm energised will be getting quite warm, especially when you hit 20 amps. And the uh, last thing I want to do is damage it. I should really have it up to the 30 amp, which would eat all over the 20. Uh, but I can't be asked to set me rectifier up. Did you hear that? Just like a ZVS and flyback. X 
extremely hot arc, isn't it? That's 60 volts. <laughs> and I wonder how the MOSFETs are doing. They're not even warm. Well, they are 50 amp each. So in theory, they're running at 100 amp in parallel with each other. So, not bad. You can hear the variant, can't you? <laughs> Jesus, 20 minutes. I've taken up your guys' time. Sorry. <laughs> well, I had to show you your running. It's an absolute beast. I tell you, that thing's going to be seriously hard to kill. I'm looking forward to future projects with that. I've got so many bloody transformers now, it's ridiculous. But you have to have these things, you only live once, guys. If you can get the opportunity to get yourself some transformers, don't piss about. If you enjoy doing it, go and get them. <clears throat> so. <sighs> so. That's it, guys. I think I've uh, shared enough with you. Showed you two transformers running. So, let's turn this thing around and say goodbye to you. Bloody hell, that LED is bright. So, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look after yourselves and be safe whatever you're doing. Please rate, comment, you know, give us a thumbs up or down if you don't like it. And uh, we'll see each other again or speak to you once again.